Hey, what's up guys? It's Cypher. Today I'm exposing Fortnite YouTubers. I'm going to be searching up some of their stats and I'm going to be rating them on this little chart that I've made. Uh, and this determines whether I could beat them or not in a 1v1. Guys, no hard feelings to anybody. I'm going to try to be honest and it's not an attack on anyone, but I think this would be a really fun video to make. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're almost at 5 million subscribers. All right, we're going to start off with a hot one. Okay, Tifu, right? Tifu has not played Fortnite in a while. Um, so he's, you know, he's kind of rusty, but this man is still a beast. Like I'm looking up his stats right now and he has, he has insane amount of wins and forget, forget his just Fortnite tracker pub stats. This dude has won tournaments against some of the best players in the world. Um, but in his current state, in his current state without, you know, being in top form, I'm still going to put him in the 50, 50 category. You can go either way. This dude is still a menace. 50 50 definitely for tifu next up we got tim the tat man all right tim the tat man you know he's he's a little unpredictable and uh you know he hasn't played fortnite that much lately and even when he did play i mean like look his stats are kind of kind of nice 30 percent win rate right uh obviously most of those are in pub uh, squads where me and the boys were carrying but i still think tim the tat man would probably end up falling to his death trying to build fight me and he would be absolutely destroyed and get rolled in a 1v1 i would destroy tim the tatman i'm sorry next up mccreamy i don't know a whole lot about mccreamy's skill set he i know he makes some really really good content um and he's definitely a very entertaining player and i've seen him dabble in competitive i've seen some of his competitive videos uh but i'm pretty confident that in a 1v1 situation i'd probably still beat mccreamy i wouldn't i don't know if, i don't want to say i would put him in the destroy maybe just uh, a little bit yeah just right right on the i'd win category for sure next up we got courage jd a good friend of mine amazing content creator but he hasn't played fortnite in a while and you know he's definitely better than tim the tap man uh so i'm not gonna put him in the completely destroyed category i'd say somewhere in between i'd win and i'd destroy next up we got nick Merck's controller gang and honestly man i was shocked when nick returned to fortnite recently he was still popping off he had great aim i think if we ran into each other it would definitely be a 50 50 between the two of us i'm gonna throw preston plays into the mix i know preston hasn't played much fortnite and we recently did the hunter series against preston he doesn't play that much but he did get destroyed. I'm sorry, Preston. I love you, though. All right, I want to throw in somebody that I know would absolutely destroy me because I'm, I'm just talking the entire time about how I would destroy everybody or be a 50-50. Let's put in the Beast Mongrel, okay? This dude is insane. Literally, in the game and in real life, Mongrel is insane. Uh, I don't know how his brain works. I don't know how he gets his skill set. His mechanics are cracked. I would get absolutely rolled in a 1v1 against Mong Mongrel. No shame there. He's super talented, super cracked. I'm also going to throw in the X2 Twins. Really great content creators. And they're both top pro players in their region. Super impressive to see pro players and content creators. Although it's kind of hard. I mean, it's kind of easy to do that when you're in the Oceana region, if you know what I'm saying. Because who, who's playing Oceana competitive Fortnite? I mean, come on. I'd still lose to them, though. I'm going to be honest with you. X2 Twins, they both can they both can get it, but they would both probably beat me. I don't know if I would get destroyed, but they'd definitely, they'd definitely beat me. All right, next up, we got Avery. Avery is super good. He's a longtime OG player, and he's also a very sweaty pub player like myself. I would say it's close to the 50-50, but I did beat him in the last 1v1 we had, so I'm going to shift him just a little bit into the I'd win category. Next up, we got Ali A. Ali A, my guy. I know we won the World Cup fashion show, talent show, and uh, great content from that. But Ali A, I would destroy you in a 1v1. I would put you under in the montage trap box like a fish. I'm sorry, man. I'm just being honest. Next up, we got the big clicks. Okay, listen, listen here. Clicks popping off on Twitch, winning tournaments left and right, great earnings. I'm just going to be honest with you, he would absolutely destroy me. I've seen him I've seen him roll regular, you know, pro players uh in 1v1s and in creative. Junior PK, my little brother. Man, this guy swears he would destroy me every single time, but every time we 1v1 on stream, he might get a couple wins here and there, but I always end up taking the win at the end. He falls under the pressure. He's he wouldn't get completely destroyed, but I, I definitely win. Booga, the World Cup champion, would get absolutely destroyed. 
I'm just kidding. He would not get absolutely destroyed. This man is a beast as well. People say he fell off since the World Cup. What are you talking about? This guy is still popping off in tournaments. His mechanics are insane. He's fine. He would just absolutely destroy me. There's no doubt about it. Ninja. Ninja is a cracked player, man. And, and during his prime time, you know, he's beating me in pubs when he was playing Fortnite every single day. But he's a little, he's a little bit rusty right now. And I'm going to put him in between the 50-50 and I'd win category. I think if he played more Fortnite, it would be closer to the 50-50, like Tifu and Nick Merckx. But I think he's been playing a lot of Valorant lately. So I think I have the edge on him just because a little bit of rust is building up. All right, next up, we got Phase Replays. Phase Replays is a menace, man. He, he He's talented. He's really good. He's competitive. Um, I think if we ran into each other in a pub match, it would go down in a 50-50 uh, it could go either way. He's super good. All right, next up, we got Nate Hill. So here's the thing about Nate. He beat me one time when I ran him into a pub, and then I beat him the other day. So according to my calculations, that's a 50-50. Now, he might be a little bit more handsome. Uh, that's whatever. He's a, he's a model. He does modeling gigs. He's got me beat in that category. I'm a little bit taller than him, but we're going to put him in the 50-50 category because we literally went 50-50 in the two times that we ran into each other. Next up, we got Icon Series Lachlan. Lachlan, he's actually really good for a content creator, um, and, and he's definitely cracked. I've seen him play in the competitive events and, uh, and do well. Um, but I still think I'm pretty confident that if I ran into Lachlan, we're both on the same server, same ping. I would take the win. I don't. I don't think I'd get. I don't think I'd absolutely destroy him though, because he he is pretty sweaty for a content creator. Benji Fishy, one of my favorite pros to watch, because he's just a really good kid and he's super talented. Uh, this dude, without hesitation, would absolutely quick box me up like a fish and destroy me. I don't know what it is about these young EU pros, but they're just insane at the game. And it's like they live and breathe Fortnite. Benji Fishy would absolutely destroy me. Okay. Next up, we got another icon series character, Gref. I've seen his mechanics too. He was warming up with his skin and he was cranking some triple nineties with some triple edits. He actually is good at Fortnite, but I'm not going to lie to you. I would absolutely win against the Gref G and he's a controller player. So I'm going to put him in the, uh, you know, between I'd win and I'd destroy. Uh, Gref, this is a challenge for you, by the way. If you want to prove them wrong, we, we can 1v1 on your server. I don't care. Let's go. Next up, we got Fearless. Fearless, you went missing for 10 months. You're still pretty cracked. I saw it in your last video. You, 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 you're kind of a sweat, um, but I'm, I'm sorry, man. You're just... The fact that you're not uploading videos. And just for that, I'm putting Fearless in the I would destroy category. And if he wants to if he wants to go to the 50-50, uh, he needs to upload more Fortnite videos. Come on. Speaking of waiting, C-Day... Where are you at? You haven't came back from your 10 month break. Listen, man, I know the game's not the same. I know, I know. But sometimes we just got, we just got to force ourselves, you know, to, to get back into it, to, to do what we love, do it for the fans, man. You got to upload a video because you're getting destroyed if I run into you. Speaking of Fortnite, like meme content creators, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look up Noah's Noah. I'm going to look up his Fortnite tracker. Oh my God, why is his username this? What, what is this? Okay, let's take a look at Noah's Noah stats. 3.6% win rate. Uh, how many wins we got in our lifetime? Almost 400 wins. Noah, I'd probably, I'd probably destroy you as well, man. These, these content creation meme YouTubers, they just don't have the skill set that a sweaty pub player like me has, all right? Next up, we got 1% formula, 1% Nyx, 1% random. I'm, ra I'm rating you all in at the same time. You guys, are, you guys are an entire org. I'm taking the whole organization on. You guys are sweaty. You guys put time into competitive. But I know I would still beat you guys in 1v1, okay? I, I still got you guys beating the 1v1. I don't know about absolutely destroying. You guys each have your own skill sets. Next up, we got Muselk. Makes a lot of fun meme videos. Uh, Aussie Crew is just super, super dominant on YouTube, man. These guys are insane. Muselk, I'm sorry. You're not quite on the level of Fresh and X2, though. I think you would get destroyed. I haven't really seen you in the competitive scene. I haven't seen you uh, try that stuff, which is why Lachlan uh, has a better rating than you. Next up, we got Mr. Fresh Asian, okay? Mr. Fresh Asian is insane at the game. Crazy content creator. Does a lot of cool videos um, and also has some success in competitive. I think Mr. Fresh, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think you have me beat by a little bit, just by a tiny bit, you know? It's maybe instead of 50-50, it's 55-45 going your direction on a good day i got you beat but on a normal day i think you got me beat slightly slightly and i'm giving you that because of your competitive experience and your competitive achievements let's go on to the next one typical gamer 
Yo, typical gamer's kind of cracked, man. He he did he did beat me the other the other day, like uh, in season three or four. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I think uh, if we if we ran to each other, it might be a 50-50. And I, you know what? He challenged me to a one v one. He he commented on my last video. I'm gonna take that challenge, typical gamer. I think we should one v one so that we can you know figure this out because it's honestly a coin flip at this point. You know you're you're obviously cracked. We played in the trio event together. You did really well. Nick A thirty. Nick A is also. Super cracked as a content creator, super sweaty, has insane mechanics. But hey, I did beat him in the Fortnite Twitch Rivals Zone Wars event. And in the last match, it was a 1v1 between me and Nick, and I got the best of him. And for that, I'm going to have him in between the 50 50 and the I'd win category. Last up, we got Laser Beam. Laser Beam, he's, he's unpredictable as well. All right. I know he's not as good as like the X2 Twins or Mr. Fresh Asian. I think he would absolutely roll me though, because what would happen is I would knock him and then he would summon Mr. Fresh Asian in a little Pokemon ball and Mr. Fresh Asian is going to jump out and destroy me. So for that reason, I would absolutely get rolled. Guys, do you think I got any of these wrong? Who else should I rate in another video like this? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.